I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this is how to play the three chords that will help you rule the world. Open chords are one of the more useful and popular ways to play a guitar. You can back yourself while you're singing, you can play rhythm guitar in a rock band, or you can play for a sing-along at a campfire. They're called open chords because you don't finger all of the strings. Some of the strings are left ringing from the nut to the bridge. This gives those chords a broad, full sound because you're using the full resonant length of the guitar. So now I'm going to teach you three chords that will let you play about half the songs you've ever heard. Open C, your first finger, goes on the second string, counting from the E string, one, two, on the first fret. Your middle finger goes to the fourth string, second fret, and your ring finger goes to the fifth string, third fret. And you're going to start playing on the fifth string. Now if you accidentally hit the low E string, it won't sound bad, but that's an E and this is a C chord, and you want to always start the chord with the name note of the chord as the lowest string. In this case, that's playing a C. For the G chord, we're going to let the first finger take a rest. It's just going to hang loose. Your middle finger plays the fifth string, second fret. Your ring finger reaches across and plays the sixth string on the third fret and your pinky's going to curl up and play the first string on the third fret. And now you're going to play all six strings. The reason we're going to let the first finger hang is because it makes it easier and faster to change chords. When we go from the G to the C, all I have to do is pick the pinky up, move these two fingers over a string, and put the first finger where it goes. To play the D chord, your first finger goes on the third string, second fret, middle finger goes on the first string, second fret also, and your ring finger goes in between them on the second string, third fret, and you're going to start on the fourth string. That being the D string that puts the D as the lowest note in the chord. Again, if you accidentally hit the A string, well that's in a D chord too, so it doesn't really matter, but if you go past that and play the E string, it doesn't really work very well. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been How to Play Three Chords to Rule the World. Thank you for watching.